Welcome back everyone, let's play War on the Sea in the US campaign, episode number 30, the big 3-0. In the last episode, we conducted a joint naval strike using both torpedo bombers and dive, uh, dive bombers. We still have some of our aircraft fanning out, so they're fanning out over here, fanning out over here. I don't know how many I launched from the different cruisers, but I was not lazy last episode. I am being lazy this episode though, so we're gonna... Continue. wait. You're dead stopped? I think you're pursuing an enemy. I hope I actually have somebody coming out this way to investigate? Maybe not. Okay, I might need to... <laughs> do we have anybody with uh, aircraft available to launch? You know, normally we do this off camera, but... Didn't realize that we were in a situation like this. Okay, so let's do something like this. I, th I think we have people coming over to patrol this area, but since I'm not sure, we'll at least launch two more aircraft. And I'll try to do it like this so that we don't miss her. And then back like that. Okay, so that'll be helpful. That should give us some information. Yeah, all right, we'll see what happens. Otherwise, all eyes are on our 12 torpedo bombing uh, Avengers. Also on the Gato, because she's pretty close to the action here. I don't really think that since they have two destroyers and two light cruisers, well, mainly I guess because they have two destroyers, I don't really think she's going to be particularly useful. So I actually kind of want to keep her out of the fight. Now we do have 123 points. This is essentially one point short of getting a battleship, an Atlanta and a Brooklyn, and two destroyers. Um, I, if, I, if my math is correct, that's 124. So we just need to do one fight, sink any ship at all, and then we'll have enough points to do that as my first task force. I still want that to eventually combine with Charlie, maybe. Um, ideally, I, I would like a battleship group. I, I like to min-max and like have everything just the way I want it. So I want all my battleship firepower in one group, because that is obviously going to be the anti-Japanese battleship group. But probably the best anti-Japanese battle group is still my carrier task force. And that shouldn't be a surprise to anyone. Air is very powerful. As it was historically. Okay. This is close enough. Let's go to the tactical map. Alright, so we brought in the Wildcats to our north. And it looks like we have the Gato to our south as well. Let's give some initial orders. Come to the surface. Bring on your radar. Go max speed. And to the east. I think... So the Avengers should be... The an enemy vessel should be just ahead of them. Which means the, the Gato is actually really far away from... Uh, these guys, so we can probably do torpedo, pretend, pretend launch. Uh, not so far away. Okay, so let me belay that order. Go to periscope depth. But do go up to max speed and do turn to the east, which is where they're going. Wildcats? I don't know what we'll do with them quite yet. Let's just switch over to aircraft and start and see where they are. Yep, there they are in front of us. Okay. So it does look like the Gato can come to the surface. That's pretty far away. So we'll, we'll bring her up. In the meantime, this is a good perpendicular run. We might as well do some identifications. This is the Chokai, if I'm not mistaken, the last of the, the, last of the Japanese heavy cruisers. This is really it. But also the last of the Takaos. So specifically, it is a Takao class. Identify it as such. Then we have two four stackers here, and I don't think that there's, I think there's only one class of yeah, light cruiser. The older light cruisers that has this, it is the Sendai. So one of these must be the Jitsu, Jinsu, and one of them must be the sister ship, the Naka. And we don't really need to identify the other ones. Oh my gosh, why are my airplanes going in the wrong directions? I let me get this straightened out first. So you move here and move that way at a slower pace. One thing, by the way, I experimented with off camera. I had been missing some of my torpedo attacks, I figured out why. If you're going faster than normal speed, your aircraft will drop at the wrong point in time. Which is crazy, but true. So 180 is what we need to be going when we drop our torpedoes for the attacks to be successful. That's, that's very important. I don't know why that is, I just feel like the... I mean, I guess it's kind of okay to me, too, because... Um, by the way, I also have a new way of approaching this, because we have 
two light cruisers and one heavy cruiser. The only thing we really, really, really want to sink here is the heavy cruiser. Um, the other ones can be picked off by... I don't know, is it Dog? No, Dog is the carrier task force. I don't know who the other... We have the new car uh, cruiser surface action group. I don't remember what the code name is for them. I honestly don't. So 4, 8, and 12 are going to break off, form up on 4. They're going to form up... Okay, in thick formation though. Let's try this again. Yeah, good. So that's number 4. We'll get her to turn away. And 157 is just the speed so that the rear ones can catch up. And even drop it even lower. Same thing here. And what I want to do, we have a good, nice, perpendicular run, except for one group, which, uh, you know, I'm going to have number four do this, actually. One group, we do need to make an approach from a diagonal so that we can get, so that not all the torpedoes end up hitting the heavy cruiser. So we'll send four off to do that. Even more extreme. And we've actually gone too far this way, so let's pull back, start coming the other way. Get everyone over to 179 or 180. Either one is okay. And then we'll prepare to make our actual attack. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send two groups against the heavy cruisers. That's six total aircraft, six total torpedoes. Should get really good results there. Uh, and then I'm gonna send one group, the unlucky group, probably going to be the one that takes most of the fire against one of the Sendai's, and the other one's going to head against the nose, the lead Sendai. So to me, it looks pretty clear how this is going to go. One is going to target the Takao, and by the way, I should have been dropping, so belay that order. We need to drop altitude as much as possible right now. Start doing that just so that they don't have like to go to do a go round. I'd like to avoid. <laughs> they know that we're positioning ourselves for an attack, so that'd be pretty terrifying in my opinion. Let's get the orders to number five first since they are actually the most out of line. Okay, let's give it. They are going to turn back this way. Nope, don't want that. So keep going. Now, can you attack? Okay, so now get one. To turn hard. And give the attack. And then nine as well has to turn hard. And do the attack. On the Sendai. Now they are turning around the other way. Okay, well, I'll just, I'll buy myself time here. <laughs> we're kind of, you know, dealing with the uh, AI as much as we're dealing with our real problem. This is the formation I would not mind leading the attack, though. Because they are going up against, in my opinion, a relatively unimportant vessel. Okay. Good, let's get the uh, other Avengers. Let's get these guys, I guess we'll ride them out a little bit. Speed up. Their angle's a little bit too straight on, so I'm gonna get them to, maybe I can come in from the other side. This is kind of crazy. I don't think we have enough time to do that, so slow back down to 180. I'll give the order to attack whenever I feel like the angle's right. Drop down, drop down, drop down. So these guys I did not want to take the first. Oh, nope, that's it over there. Okay, so go, go, go. Attack. They are lining up. Very good. Okay, so what do we have going on? Who is the first group in? Group number nine. Yep, this is exactly what I wanted. There's the other two who probably shouldn't take as many casualties. So if I was to speed up here, we would take more. Uh, we, would, we would probably miss more. Now, you've dropped, speed up, speed up, and turn even. 
Actually, they are engaging the other ones. Do they know who has and has not launched? That's pretty creative if they do. So you guys have just launched. Okay, let's just study up on that. Do the same with number four. So you guys have presumably launched by now. Who hasn't launched? Okay, well, let's get these guys to turn away quickly. Save them. And uh, is everyone okay? Okay, we have struck by a dead torpedo. What is going on? What is going on? Okay, first one's a dud. We have two more coming in. Oh, okay, no, sorry. First one was a hit. Oh my gosh, it looks horrible for her. Only looks like we're going to get one hit over here, but this looks good. Great for us, terrible for them. One, two, three, four. Okay, she's dead. We got one hit. Fantastic. We actually got away without a single casualty. Well, that is something. So I think we're going to end up sinking everyone except number two. So, the Wildcats. These are actually very valuable at this point for sending in on strafing runs. We also have the Gato class, which, yeah, she can come up to the surface, she can do her thing. They're going to take evasive maneuvers, so let's just sl slightly close the gap. Um, I do not know what of my Avengers, uh, whom of my Avengers has taken damage. So let me form a new group, which has only the people who are completely okay. In this case, one and two. So the, let me actually do it instead this way. Form it of the people who are damaged. Okay, so you are damaged. Three and twelve is not. So three, four, and eight are damaged. Let's have them break, form up. Going pretty slow at this and just move over. It looks like the Takao is already sinking, but not a big surprise. Now this group also wants to take on other people who are damaged, like Turns out this entire group. <laughs> Fair enough. So one and two are not. Three is. Four is. Yeah, four is. Yeah, I think all of these guys are damaged. Oh my gosh. No, this whole group, nine. These guys are all intact. So 1 and 2, 9, 10, 11. You guys break and form up. And we'll, we'll definitely have these guys go back in. Well, not definitely, but maybe definitely. Again, it's hard. It's really hard to like risk your ships after they've already done such a good job. And we have a lot of damage. I'm pretty sure that one of these light cruisers is going to go down as well. Wow, the Takao, she's like already under. And it looks pretty deep here, despite it being in the slot. Well, Iron Bottom Sound is actually really deep, I think. It's not, it's no, it's not a shallow dive. Takao is under. Yeah, I don't expect that having taken two or three torpedoes that she... Wow, look at this. This is just... What? Is it possible? Did she only take one or what who is this? This is three. And three took two torpedoes. Oh my gosh, if she doesn't sink, that will be very impressive. And the one who only took one torpedo might end up sinking herself. Really fascinating. So, five are you guys, you're all damaged, so you should form up with the damage party, which is... Wait a second. Yeah, this one. So we can actually do it the other way, maybe? It's hard to tell, the, the damn colors are too, too similar. Who is number one? Who does number one work for? 
Let's get these guys to drop down in speed and in altitude, because they might do a strafing run. Um, this is not a good course. <laughs> for Especially for damaged group. Okay, so three, four. Let's just do it. I, I think I can wing it. This is the new one, I think. Let's put them into box formation. So if I'm not mistaken, this is five aircraft that are all the same. So three, it's fine. You guys can just go really slow at about 8,000 feet. Uh, and you guys will need to drop down. The Wildcats will drop down. It's fine. Let's have these Avengers just do something like this. Because again, we do have the Gato out here patrolling. What's the speed of these ships? Oh gosh, we have another collision. And a Japanese... You see, when a Japanese destroyer loves a Japanese light cruiser, but doesn't know how to express his feelings. Hey, Ramser. And if she doesn't get the point, he rams her again. And again. Until she's driven safely into his warm, loving arms at the bottom of the... <laughs> at the bottom of the sea. It's really hard to avoid some kind of nat National Geographic commentary on these very bizarre AI maneuvers. There was a, a comment suggesting turning off collisions, and I'm not opposed to that. I think that that's not... Certainly not how I would prefer to play. But if we have to, you know, dance our way around an AI which is incapable of um, avoiding collisions, it may, I mean, that it may come to that. It may come to that, that we actually have to do it. Do it ourselves. So hopefully, I, I might just cut here, advance time a little bit to see if anybody else is going to sink. I don't think this is the end of things for us, though, because certainly have a lot of possibility for... Um, A follow-up attack strafing run. And, again, all this is buying time for the... Oh, are they going back, though? If we just move even more aggressively towards them. You know, honestly, we should... Should we not be able to see smoke on the horizon? That's... Wow, they are, must be really far away. I would have guessed we could see smoke on the horizon, but I guess they are way further away than I expected. Or maybe there's just not... I mean, there's... Yeah, smoke. Okay, so let me pause for a little bit, and we'll see what happens with this other Sendai. I'll keep all the all the aircraft in orbit. Alright, well, we decided... I have decided that I'm going to make a run-in with the remaining aircraft. So we are going to go against the one of the Sendais. I don't know which one's which, as far as like which is the most damaged. I'm gonna target the lead one, despite these, this like not being quite exactly what I want. I basically, just want these both to continue straight until I give them the order to make the turn. So we see them, and I think we can just approach uh, perpendicular. This is not. I think it's better to make a run from uh, along the length of the ship. And that makes sense for a lot of reasons, but to get us in and out of the fire zone quicker, I'm going to attempt to do it from the side, because I guess we could drive just along the length of her and then turn peel off to the right. That'll avoid a lot of gunfire. I'm not sure, though. So we're just going to do it this way. They are kind of turning, which is, I mean, honestly, that's a good thing. There's good separation between these two, though. So... Get the, this group to do it first. And they'll just go at max speed. I kind of want the Avengers to lead as well. Believe it or not, the, the Wildcats have less armor, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. This is just my experience that they're not quite as heavily armored. It's not that difficult to shoot down a wildcat. Okay, make your turn. Just go ahead and attack. Or now, bring up to Did these guys also drop into. No, they're at 238. So yeah, we want the wildcats. Guess I'll just go to each one. Pick them up to maximum speed. Not yet, not yet. Okay, wait, wait, wait. 
So we kind of want to do maximum speed on the approach and then drop their speed after that, but let's do the maximum speed now and just get them out. More important, I think, than time on target is just starting a fire that can possibly lead to the ship's destruction and then leaving the scene. So we'll have all the Avengers form back up afterwards, and then we can just direct them out. Because this should give us some damage. Doesn't really look like they're putting up much of a wall of fire. And look at that, the Wildcats actually got there first in the end. Okay, so far so good, no losses. Let's form up. And make our way this way. Do the same with the Wildcats. I think they all basically did the same. So no break, form up. Nose, north. And climb. Good, very successful. Did absolutely no damage, that's fine, we'll just leave this scenario. But that was still fun. It's one lone wildcat, I just want to get her out of here. Okay, cue on that. Alright, we managed to do it without losses though, that was the main thing. It wasn't successful, probably would have been much more successful if we had gone after the destroyers. Yeah, but we'll go ahead and just bring this to a close because... Gato's not going to do anything against destroyers, it's not kind of obvious. It's the worst case scenario for her. Nothing really to gain there. Okay, so moderate damage against the Sendai, heavy damage against the other one. And 14 command points, which is exactly what we needed to put together um, a group down here. So we can, if we want now, we can actually launch... Let's get you to return RTB. So we can launch our battleship group. It's not going to be extremely impressive to start with, but it will be still... I mean, look at this battleship. Okay, sorry. Uh, let's see here. Now, as far as we can afford either the North Carolina or the South Carolina, South Dakota, because of the same, they're the same price, there is a small difference here, and it's all in this field. So 8.2 inches of deck, 85%, drops to 7.8 and 70%. I think of those two, the more important one is obviously the torpedo defense. We need that torpedo defense. However, I'm not exactly sure why either. Raider is actually worse on the South Dakota. So it's not probably going to be the, uh, a big impact since we're going to have light cruisers, heavy cruisers, all these things which are going to have much better radars. It's still interesting to note. Anyway, I'm going to go with the North Carolina, and i got to go with Washington because of her her contributions. Uh, <laughs> I mean, throughout the war, but, but I mean, she's she's notable in the Guadalcanal Theater as well. So, let's add her to the list. What else do we want to grab? We want to get a an un-Atlanta, some air defense. That'll be the San Diego. Yes, I love the San Diego. And we'll get a Brooklyn as well, because we're still going to milk that really overpowered, low, underpriced uh, light cruiser, if you ask me. Get the Phoenix. And now we can get as many destroyers as we want. I probably only want two. I honestly think that it's kind of a waste of points to put more than two destroyers in a group. If you can't get it done with two, then you're doing something wrong. Uh, I don't really know which ones we'd want to put in here, though. Probably something with better... I don't think that any of them really offer anything better, though. So is the Benson still... So now we're up to 8 points. Where is the drop? Okay, Somers. So I guess we'll just take one with um, a lot of torpedoes, then. Oh, this has 6 non-dual-purpose guns, so those are not going to be a priority. Yeah, the Bagley. I mean, the Bagley is such a good class. We'll take... Whoa! Take two more, I guess. Almost out of Bagley's. Okay, let's rearrange this a little bit. We don't want the Phoenix. I mean, the we do want the... No, we don't want the Phoenix in front either, but we definitely don't want the Washington in front. All 
Okay. Patterson, San Diego, Washington, Henley. I think I'll swap these as well. This looks good to me. And actually I want, yeah, the San Diego is the Atlanta. I probably want the, f I probably want the Phoenix, the Brooklyn class in front. So against air attack, San Diego is gonna be better. It w will not be as negative. In the surface fight, we want the Phoenix in front, basically. And in an air fight, it doesn't matter. So that's 124 points. We have 13 points available, which means I actually could sacrifice the Brooklyn for a heavy cruiser. But I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to leave her in there, just like this. So we have a couple of extra points. We can maybe put together another convoy. Done. Task Force 78, my goodness. What are we up to here? Oh, we have another one which is not, which just didn't get a name. <laughs> Charlie. So easy, and we have a Foxtrot somewhere, I think, right? Do we? Is Task Force 14 supposed to be Foxtrot? Um, where's my other carrier group? I'm going crazy. Baker, easy, okay, dog. We don't have a Foxtrot yet, interesting. Okay, so then let's make TF-14 Foxtrot. Foxtrot ASW, and let's go over to our new Task Force 78. No, I don't know why it does that. 78. Oh, uh, is it? What is it? I don't think it's golf. I'm I'm going crazy. I'm using the wrong abbreviations again. So golf, but I'll have to rename this when I figure out what I'm doing. There it is. I, I think it's maybe even just Fox. Let me take a look. Yeah, it's it's Fox, which I had right, but it's uh, George. No, that take that name. No! Test for 14, right? I think. George ASW. Okay, this one's becoming George, because I'm not going to rename it again. Forget it. And you're going to become TF78 Fox Sag. Good. All right, renaming done. Not really important anyways. Don't need to stress about those fine things. Just get this guy moving. That's the main thing. Get him moving. Okay, let's keep moving. Speaking of moving, 60x forward. But already a good turn. I mean, basically what we're waiting for at this point is convoys to get into position. I don't even know where a lot of these aircraft should be going. So we'll want, okay, the Dauntlesses actually are gonna be really good to finish off whatever else is there. The Gato as well though. Actually, I think what I want to do is, oh shoot, I grabbed the wrong one. Dauntless. I want her to kind of hover over my Gato so that we, we protect her from destroyers until we find out where the enemy is. So once it's been an hour, I mean, that's kind of a long time. That shows ready to red. Okay, so are we seeing anything? That is a good spread. Oh, what the hell? No, that, I, no, I, I never gave you those orders. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know where you got your uh, signal decrypted from, but that is definitely not what I asked you to do. <laughs> like a hundred percent sure. What in God's name is going on here? Who's giving these orders? Oh my God. Okay, let's just check and make sure nobody else is giving, doing really, really stupid things. This all seems to make sense. You actually need to go back home, because I looked and you only have five torpedoes. Okay, let's just do it. Let's give the order to go home. And home for us will be Port Moresby in this case. 
since. That is definitely closer than going all the way back to New Hebrides. So no wolf pack for us, sadly. I'm lazy. Dog is just actually hanging out. Okay, we got her back. Very good. Do we have to do anything? No, we just spotted her. Okay, well, to me, it's very clear what needs to happen. Dauntlesses need to go in. Gato can kind of... I guess she should really steer her clear. In fact, Gato, let's have you move into the slot, even deeper up the slot. That's good. I'm sure that's going to pull in the Gato, yeah. But that's okay. Alright, they should be right in front of you. This is going to be like a very simple trip for us. We probably even want to prioritize the destroyers. Because we cannot sink. Come up to the surface. We cannot, there's no way we're going to be able to sink um, a destroyer with our submarine. But, like cruiser, that's a different story. Alright, so we probably just give orders and go. Uh, let's do it this way. One can approach that target. Five can approach this this target. Yo, wh what am I doing? I'm probably going to get everyone in on the action. So two, which is not being targeted is going to be targeted by 4 and 8. So you're supposed to target 2. Although I'm not sure about that. Let me cut back on speed. Actually, let's have this one slow way down. Just see who's left in the end that we can go for. So, I don't know about doing the Vic Formation versus Line of Breast. I'm getting about equal results. I'm obviously getting like bad results for dive bombing in general. It might have something to do with the speeds I'm giving them though. So, 190 is their default. I've noticed this with the dive bomb the torpedo bombers. Now I'm kind of leery about it. For, for everyone. Okay, it's perfect. Straighten up on that. And heave to. Let's get going. Okay, die bombers are coming in. Like any kind of hits on this destroyer should be, a <laughs> should be a sunk one, right? Switch over to number four. Who do we want to attack? Just buy us a little bit more time. Okay, four was hit by a bomb. Let's go um, change number... Who are these guys? They're doing stupid stuff, unfortunately. I'd love to sit here with the binoculars view, but... We have to save my stupid aircraft from being really stupid. This is one, two, three. Yeah, so why are you guys turning back in? I think it's because they are trying to follow their previous waypoint, but they should be going this way. Four, five is coming in. You guys are just about to drop your bombs. Let's have you give orders to go like this way. So just flee the scene when you're done. That didn't look bad. Okay, we got some kind of hit there. Four was hit by one. A few were hit there. Uh, we lost one here. Your bombs are out, so let's have you just turn and go. Turn and burn. Okay, wow, magazine detonation, that's awesome. Okay, that is the destroyer, so she's probably going down. So five, so who didn't get hit? Two. Two did not get hit. Because two hasn't been targeted, <laughs> of course. Um, I honestly think we ought to go for two. Yeah, she's probably the best choice. 
90. Okay, go on in. I'm, I'm gonna manually control 8. I'm just gonna do my own attack. Ah, uh, can you can you do, can you dive? She's gonna do dive. Yes. You are off. You are off. You are off. You're gonna miss. How do you not look at that? How do you not see that? You must be blind. Oh my gosh. Good Lord. Okay. Well, whatever. Just get out of there then. We only lost one. Oh, we lost a Kingfisher. But we didn't lose any dive bombers? Okay, that I'm, I'm, that's a result I'm happy with. I look at all four of them are smoking. Oh, yeah. I think the Momi, which is actually what I was... I think this is a Momi. Um, this is one of the ones I was actually worried most about. So she doesn't look like she's going to go down necessarily. She had a magazine detonation, so she's in bad, bad shape. And all this time, the Gato is licking its lips. If those two destroyers go down, it's, it's time for uh, action for her. I guess I could also do the same thing I normally do, like take stock of who's damaged, who's not. So, number three is damaged. Let's have her stand alone. Um, let's have damaged ones just move north. Um, by themselves. And then, okay, four is damaged, so let's have her north. This group entirely is okay. So one, two, five, seven. Yeah, we got five aircraft. Yeah, I think we're going to be able to pull something together here as far as actually being able to do another um, another attack. Let's get these guys to slow way down though. And who else do we have? That's everyone, actually. We have three damaged and all the rest aren't. That's fantastic. Just to confirm. Yeah, it looks to be the case for sure. Nine and... T oh! These guys aren't damaged either. That's really good. Okay, it's going slow. Just go this way for now. I, I want to make sure nobody, you know, we don't miss anyone. Anyways, let's go back to the damage. We're doing, we're commanding our air, our aircraft. How dare us? But in the meantime, we have. Oh man, this is not look good for the Japanese. <laughs> we got the perfect attack in. What can I say? Is that number twelve also? Scout this way. Just go up to nine thousand or so. You might as well go maximum speed. The Gato's like licking her lips. Let me close. Now you're pointed right at him. Say, oh, I do see smoke. I think I see... I'm sure I see little smoke columns there. That's really cool. Maybe in the binoculars it'll be more obvious. I think it is. Yeah, right there. I see all these things of smoke. Well, we are definitely going to head towards that. We can probably take these things in a surface, I mean one of them, maybe maybe the Momi, okay, I'm mean, getting get a little ahead of myself, I think, in a surface fight, I was about to say, but eh, you know, that's probably not really true. No ships have sunk yet, though. Good, you do have your radar on, that's good. No ships have sunk, is that really, nope, that is not true. One, ha three has already sunk, so the magazine detonation ship, destroyer number one has sunk, light cruiser has sunk. Momi looks like... Oh, that's not just in time to see that. That's not a good look. That may not be a good thing for her. I mean, these might all just go down on their own. But if not, we might have a chance that this crew, this ship is making... 16 knots. Damn, that's way too fast. There's no way we're going to be able to catch up to her. Not unless some people come along and strafe her. Now, it, honestly, we can definitely strafe this Momi. It will definitely, definitely go down. Be extremely confident in how quickly this thing will fall. But two, on the other hand, is probably just going to get away. You never know. The Momi, I mean, there's nothing to prevent her from fighting this fire off. 
but it, it doesn't look good. I don't think. Yeah, you're fine. Go ahead. You're fine. Go ahead. What the heck? Oh, you're going the wrong way? <laughs> no, the other ones just flew by. Okay. You're damaged. So it's fine that you get off the map. That's fine. Except these guys maybe start making their way a little bit more in. And again, make sure you hit the deck. Alright. Three is now sinking. Okay. Well, then it's really all up to uh, speed of 15, so we can definitely catch this thing. We're going in. Now that there's only one left, I think it's, it's time for a run. Oh, no, wait. Three was already sinking. Four is not sinking. Damn it. Got a little bit ahead of ourselves. Okay, do it. Oh, God. Okay, go against her. Go against her. I hope that she doesn't even contribute much to AA fire, and I honestly don't think she will. Man, the game has really got to be pouring on the coals now. Some really juicy targets. And we will be making a run. I mean, she's probably going to sink. This is probably going to sink while we're en route to number two. I would say things look less and less good for her all the time. But you know what we could do is actually we could have some of our aircraft break off. Okay, I don't think it's necessary. I'm seeing all the secondaries. This one's going down for sure. Sendai is definitely in good shape, and I only want to weaken her enough that she slows down, because 16 knots is going to be... Uh, that'll be a little bit difficult for us. Is she going to put up any fire, even? I hope not. Here we come. Okay, good hits, good hits, good hits, good hits. Don't spin off to the right, you ding-dongs. They do. Yes, don't spin off that way. You can. Let's just get... Let's see, who's there? One, did you go the correct way? You didn't. Who went the right way? left way. Really? Oh, nope, not you. You're not even part of the group. You didn't go the correct way. Okay, seven. Everyone's forming up on seven, then. I don't care if you're here or not. It doesn't matter. Form up on seven, and let's get these guys to... No, go this way. Come over and form up on seven. Good. Just get away from that. And that's some zigzagging. They don't, we don't look like we did any damage. She's still going 16, all for nothing. Boy, that's unfortunate. Well, we do have one other thing we're going to want to do here then. Seven. Take a look and see if anybody is damaged. If anybody is, they're going to be aborted from the second run. But we're going to make a run against the Momi if she can, does not go down. So, seven, slow way down. And begin, like, uh, maybe an up-down zigzag. We need to send 12 closer. Can you just do your reconnaissance roll? Be really nice. Thank you. Don't think we'll need this going. This is ship has got to go down. Well, I will come back when it does. I'm sure it will. It happened. She's sinking. I was just about to make a run on her. I was like, forget this. It's taking too long. So, unfortunately, the Sendai is actually going to get away because there's no way our Gato's going to catch her in time. I'd even like to, like, flag her down. Like, hey, look. Look at me. Instead, what I'm going to do is just make one last run with all my... all my aircraft, basically. Just make a one last run. Targeting her and trying to do an attack. I'm going to wait to get a little bit closer because I have a couple selected here I don't actually want selected. I guess I can just also do this. It can cause some damage though, it would be so nice. 
I don't know why I'm risking Dauntless Dive Bombers this way. Okay, I guess I'm going to pull off this attack. I mean, I'm, I'm going to abort this one. We've done well enough. Let's just leave well enough alone. Because it's not worth it. The Dive Bombers are much more valuable. Okay, so let's uh, retreat from this battle. Shouldn't take long, just 20 seconds or so. Okay, good. Very good. That's extra points. I mean, we could actually add <laughs> another light cruiser to our battleship group. But I think what we're, we're, we're going to do instead is probably reinforce heavily the, the, the dog when she comes back, or Charlie, I should say, the heavy cruiser force. And then we'll mix up those two groups when they meet the battleship group and the newly heavily reinforced heavy cruiser force. We'll do a little bit of exchanging of ships later on. For now, the battleship group is already good enough. It's already a good start. Yeah, what do we do with our two carriers, though? This is kind of interesting. I, I like the idea of actually having them operate very close together. Maybe one over here, and one actually pretty much right here is fine. Yeah, I'm probably just going to leave them right there. We'll have to launch aircraft more often, but you know, this is probably a good place to also bring this video to a close. Oh. Got him! Finally! Oh my goodness, finally we spotted this submarine. Well, divert to her position. She has really eluded us for a while, so congrats to her. Zebra's making her way over. Hopefully with this new, f the last heavy cruiser force down, we'll have a little, a little bit of time to start moving our, our transports in. So that's really what needs to happen next, is we just need to get some stuff done. Okay, this is the two destroyers, one light cruiser. What has already landed here? The six Avengers. Okay, yeah, this is actually perfect. We could do 3-3. Three, three. I think we'll end up doing HE here. I would like to do the rockets, but the thing is that I don't think those work against light cruisers. So we'll go with HE, and this that should be pretty deadly. Set a course, and get that done. But yeah, we'll continue this one in the next video, because then I can actually take a little bit of time, maybe launch some aircraft. Though it's nice to see the wave is already out there and scouting on ahead. For now, thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care.